It's me, Adrian. Somebody's agreed to let me make a movie again that never fails to surprise me and delight me. She craved having her voice heard and her vision be out there. From when she was five years old, when she was in kindergarten, she always stood out. It was always Adrian. It happened quickly. In no time, she was the star of this indie cult film. I'm sitting in a diner, freaked beyond belief. What have we learned here? Write it and direct it yourself. She really knew what she wanted. She had such a clear idea of it. You come in, you're Russian. Okay, I messed it up a little bit. It's fine, I don't care. Her greatest joy was that child. She was the happiest I'd ever seen her. I went to bed that night the luckiest guy alive. By the next night, I was living the worst nightmare imaginable. My phone rings, and you said, Brian, get up here. Adrian's dead. I just remember I fell to the ground, and I started screaming. I got a call from the detective, and he said, Andrew, we arrested the guy who killed Adrian. Not a minute of every day goes by without me thinking of Adrian and what my daughter Sophie has lost, what the world has lost. This was going to be her moment. How are we here? And she's not. I just have a very specific kind of satisfaction when I see Waitress on a Broadway marquee. I was going for a tone where you can find what's funny in what's painful, which has always kind of been my strategy anyway in life. You're almost the same age as her here. Don't be afraid of dying. Be afraid of never living.